trying to learn a little bit about solar and LifePo batteries and everything with that. And I've kind of put together my first little setup here. Um, I'm sure there's some mistakes and stuff in here and some things that I can add. I'm trying to just keep it real basic. And so I went ahead and I bought this battery off Amazon. And it's a 12 volt, 95 amp hour. And I watch Will Prowse a lot and I've learned so much from him and I'm thankful for his channel. And he had mentioned that um, it's a used battery perhaps, um, but I found out too late. So I just decided to keep it because I just wanted to run it and learn some basic setup and stuff like this. So. I went with that battery, and then I went after one that Will recommended for an inverter, which is a Giandel 12,000 pure sine wave inverter. And so I've got the inverter just connected directly to the battery. And then so far plugged into it, I have a power strip, which could definitely be a no-no, and I'll find that out. Um, but I've got a power strip with a ice pad charger. I've got a little Mackie board in here with some mics and stuff. I know it's a rat's nest, but I got a nice little Mackie board in here. And then I'm also running a, get around to the other angle here, a nice big Mackie speaker. It gets really loud and I'll pop that up in just a minute. And then I got some solar stuff because I want to start charging it. Essentially, I want my gazebo here to be wireless uh, with no need to run an extension cord out here. So I got 200 watt Renogy solar power uh, panels that I'll show later. But I'm really green with all this stuff, so I'm learning alongside everybody else and doing this video actually helps me learn it. So um, I'm powering some lights as well. And what's kind of neat that I'm learning is that on this inverter, it's telling me, I guess, how many watts I'm using right now. So 13.2 volts. And the next setting is watts. And then if I turn the music up, you'll see that I start using more wattage. So let's turn the cars up here a little bit. Basically, that battery pack is running this whole setup, and if it's only running 60 watts, and this is a roughly 1,000 uh, watt hour setup here, I could get some pretty good time out of all this setup, but I'm gonna keep this playing for a long time, maybe over a couple days, keep a general track of um, how long it's powering this, so that I can let everybody know that this little setup here powered up a, a little Mackie board, some lights in the gazebo, a Mackie board or a Mackie speaker, an iPad. Um, and again, this is a this is a detached gazebo away from the house, quite a ways away from the house. And so I just didn't want to run an extension cord all the way from the house and have it constantly up. And I'm also working on some Trex decking up there. I'll get some video up on that a little bit learning some hard lessons there and the painting as well, but I'll put that up another time. So anyway, considerable distance, wanted something wireless. I'd like to make a nice little mounting box and stuff and clean this up and everything. But so far I've been outside playing the music and everything's running great, real basic setup. And I'm just really just enjoying this, trying to learn and starting small. So hopefully if you're brand new to all this stuff and you're kind of curious what you can do, you'll learn right alongside me.